Why aren't you hiding your face? I'm hiding it. I'm hiding it. You just can't see me. Hide your face. Don't show it to anyone. And we're back for more puppet show. The price of immortality. I'm your Gibbs, of course. And look at this beautiful looking game. We've got little baby Veronica doll over here. Yes, that's right. I called her Veronica. And what do we have? We've got a mask, a ladder, a mask, and a hand. Can we just go give that back? I want to see if that will work. Whoa, dude. You startled me. Greetings. I'm the mayor of the fair town of Immortal. When I heard we had a famous journalist in town, I just had to see you myself. Nice of you to stop by. Of course. I'd love to give you an interview. But it's nearly ten, and curfew is starting soon. I'll find you later. Why are you covering your mask? Or why do you cover your face? What, what's up with that? I'll explain everything then. I promise. Cover your face. Whoa. I suppose that curfew was for a reason after all. What's going on? Oh, those are puppet parts. Why was someone burning them? That doesn't sound right at all. Ooh, touch the rocking horse. Everyone touch. The rocking horse. All right, let's see what happens when we give the doll arm back. Aw, thank you. Ooh, what's behind your head? Scissors. <gasps> she comes to my doll house. Ooh, I like that. Oh, I want this first, though. Then. Apparently, Enrique's going to be performing tonight. But why did Helen sound so worried about it? Yeah. It's clear what fits here. <laughs> okay, let's look at the dollhouse. Ooh. Okay. Upgrade five. I'll need more tokens to upgrade her. I'm not even sure how she gets upgraded. Well, she was the first doll, so I guess we should upgrade her, right? <laughs> Oh, check it out! <laughs> we got the cover here. She got a fan, a little mask. You know, oh, it's one upgrade and you're you're done. Okay, that's cool. I can live with that. All right, let's get out of the dollhouse here. More on that later. Poster fragments. Oh, I've only got one of seven. Okay, I thought I had all of them. Does not look like a pile. Because for me, uh, what? Wait, I can't even get back into the hotel? What? I'm not staying here any longer than I have to. What in the world was that? Please don't be Enrique. Hello? Please don't be Enrique. Anybody in there? Or anybody in there that can talk to me? Wow, that prison is rough. rough. That? Oh, it's just a utility closet. Absolutely nothing of interest in there. <laughs> You'll find your room upstairs. Oh, really now? Absolutely nothing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wink, wink. A little Felicia there. For those folks that are familiar with the earlier Puppet Show games. All right, so what can we do? We can use scissors here. Let's do that and find out what's actually behind here. I gather it's a puppet. Aww, cut her down. Good grief. Oh, thanks. I could really use a cup of tea right now. This guy is like super sneaky. Hi there. Here you are. Perhaps some tea will help you feel better after your long journey. I don't think I should trust you, though. Do I have a choice? Can I leave? Yes, I can. Ha ha! Oh. Ah, <sighs> fine. I'll take your tea. Hey! Open the door! Hey! Wake up! Oh, thank the master. 
after you're all right. I bet that sneaky clerk drugged your tea. I think he's locked us in here. What should we do? I don't know. Climb out the window. <laughs> I love how she gets on her little chair there. A little spot for her to sit. Whoa, hello. Helen! Why aren't you hiding your face? Do you want to end up like Enrique? That's what happened to him after he came here asking too many questions about the theater of emotions. They arrested him. Why aren't you hiding your face? My father's the mayor of Immortal, but even he can't help Enrique. Even though he knows how I feel about him. I just have to hope they won't choose him tonight. Choose him for what? Whoa, not again, Helen. What does that hand want with Helen? And who's controlling it? Seriously. <laughs> the hand has a mind of its own, maybe? Something like that. Oh, more money. Oh, slingshot. I'll take some of that, some of that. This elastic could be useful, but it's stuck. What happened to my scissors? Huh. Hi there. Oh, the doll's missing its head. Off with its head. Oh, we're missing another mask here. Hmm. What were they looking for? Your Gibbs's luggage. Nice, put that up there. Glove there. Sure, glove there. Put this all away. <laughs> Tweezers are always handy dandy. Ah, this looks familiar. Cash or hard? I think we go cash. Okay. Push it that way. This is pretty cool. It's all based on the angle of the magnet. Push that that way. Pull. Pull and push. Then we gotta push that down there and again. And then pull it. It is free. I'm just a tiny bit curious of what hard would have been there, but just a tiny bit. I'll survive. <laughs> Without knowing. Oh, this game just makes me giggle, which is a good thing. It is totally no. a good thing. He locked me in. I can't help myself, just smiling the whole time. Hi. Hi, where are you going, Veronica? It seems that something has caught my little friend's attention. Yeah. Do you hear that? Someone's inside the storage room. Look at look at how well this is done here. Look at her. Hey, that was the guard. Oh, I need the screwdriver or a wrench, I should say. Can you go over here, darling? No. Now, let's get whatever was in here. That's a cog that we needed. Uh, Apparently, Enrique's going to be performing tonight. I thought there was a cog somewhere else. No? Hmm. Why do I think there's a cog somewhere? <laughs> oh well, it's fine. Here? No. no. All right, all right, fine. I'm just imagining things. So I do have the last mask. Let's go find out what's in here. I need to find the right combination. Oh darn! A chest knight and a ladder. Hmm. So what shall we do? Oh, I can go through his stuff now. It's the Puppet Files! Hi. Agent Joy, a perfect spy capable of recording audio and video. <gasps> Spider Puppet! The Jester of Cups! 
Each hand is detachable and functions as a separate entity. General Destroyer detects eminent violence and apprehends suspects. Kira immobilizes criminals using advanced maneuvers. Clive equipped with 99.9% .9 accurate lie detectors. Uno specializes in mobility and creating elaborate distractions. Handy Hector fully trained in home repair and basic construction. Handy Helga, Hector's sister and a talented stylist programmed with the latest fashion. Beryl the Bear. Remember the bear? Huh, I didn't realize he was a robotic. Or a puppet. Animatron, you know what I mean. iRobot. Beryl was designed with the latest animatronics. He not only looks like a real bear, but is programmed with actual bear sounds. He currently is assigned to the station to frighten noisy outsiders. Dr. D developed these inventions exclusively for use in Immortel. For all patient inquiries, contact the mayor's office. Whoa, whoever this is, he looks dangerous. Are we done poking around here? Oh wow, I've got six out of seven. Oh, I must have missed one somewhere. New task. We need to sneak into the storeroom. Hmm. How am I going to do that? i got to figure out how to get this thing off. Well, you know what? The ladder should help here. Hi there. The tip of his horn has been broken off. Ooh, look, a doll head in there. Hmm. Well, let's have a look at the map. Have I looked at that lately? I don't think I've looked at it at all. <laughs> Ooh, we gotta play with all the dolls, all the puppets. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, what does the symbols mean? Objectives unknown. Okay, well, we'll go back here then. Oh, there's so many dancing in there. Wow, you see that? Jeez. What? Glimmering area? Is this the first time we've had this? Huh. We're like half an hour into the game. This is the first hidden object puzzle. Who gets a dolly arm? And parrot goes for pirate. Green shoe. Uh, pacifier. Oh, it looks like you need to be stitched. Look at this guy, he totally looks familiar. Oh, that's a... Soil is dry, so put that there. A slipper with a mouse on it. Wig. Wing. Doll head. And Helen! Helen of the Reek. Empty watering can. Hmm. Where the heck is the water? Oh, yeah, remember I said we were gonna use this water? Haha, I called it. What's going on here? I found the horn. And some money for my dollhouse. Wow, it looks like there's actually another mask in there. Okay, let's get the doll head out of here. Whoa! I got teeth. Hey, 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 you! <gasps> you little bugger, why would you do that? Hey! Hey, why does the rat have such advanced security measures? Seriously. Oh, sparkles I know over there. Oh, this is fairly straightforward, I think, but, oh, wow, interesting, so,
There we go. Help! This is Enrique's handwriting. We need to help him. Hey, there's the code we needed. 32514. People of Immortal, for your own safety, please wear your masks at all times. We've attracted enough attention as it is. Ooh, achievement unlocked. Ding, ding, ding. We're solving three puzzles without skipping. Yeah. Oh, let's do the sparkle since we're here. Find every household item. Oh, every mouse. <laughs> every mouse related item. Get back here, you little silly creature. What are we making? Mouse origami. Clever. Mouse slippers. Mouse dolly. What else we got in here? Oh, icky spider. Mouse trap. Yeah, he totally looks familiar. He has a shield and a sword, and he's a hero! How many of you remember that game? I've recorded uh, both games with him in it. Uh, oh wow, that's very well hidden. Okay, cool. Oh, another one over there. Hmm. I got cheese wedges. Now we have a golden cheese, which is going to be useful for our little friend's door here. And then I'm going to send Veronica in after him. Go, Veronica, go! <laughs> yeah, hands up! That's right, little mouse, you're under arrest. You're stealing the doll's head. Uh, we can do this coat. Let's do the doll first. Hi there, Elastic. Aw, put its hands up for me. Come with me, Dolly. Ooh. We got one, two, three, four dollies. Five for you. Four for you. Upgrade. <laughs> Cute. If I do it. Oh, okay, so I I don't get my tokens back, but I uh, doesn't cost me to kind of turn it back on and off. Let's go. Cool. All right, let's do this. We need to do one, two, three, four, five. It's a crab wrench. Isn't that interesting? And that is the cr most creative wrench I've seen. <laughs> Whoa, that was weird. That freaked me out. Alright, let's take this glass off and see what's behind door number one here. Go, Krabby, go. That is a very elaborate wrench. If that guest wakes up, you know what to do. And lock that damn storeroom door. That's all we need is another snoop poking around. Like is that your account. friend behind the folding screen? You won't be able to get close with that hotel clerk there, though. But what if we blew out his candles? Then he wouldn't be able to read, and then he'd leave. That's a good idea. Yay. We need to trick the clerk into leaving the storeroom. What am I going to arm this thing with? Uh... How about the teeth? Okay, that's good. Oh, holy cow, aiming! Haha, -ha, candle down. <laughs> this is so neat. First person shooter! I was just getting used to that one. I do hope the doctor has another in my size. Another coat? Was yeah. his hand a prosthetic? 
I, I mean, why else would he ignore it when it's on fire? He did seem not to react <laughs> to that at all. That's crazy. Ooh. Alright, folks, we're out of time. We're gonna have to wait until the next episode to find out who's behind here. This is Puppet Show, the price of immortality. I'm your Gibbs. I'll see you next time. <laughs>